video. Uh, yeah, this is an Hino Motor tractor. I really like this model. Um, I think also the quality is still very high. In comparing with Kubota, Yamaha, or Isegi, it's not as popular as uh, these brands, but still, I think these tractors are built really, uh, really good. Um, yeah, I will show you around. I will show you some details about the tractor and why I like it so much. And I almost forgot. Um, yeah, so it, it's took some time to make some new videos. I have also a, a TU2100 uh, at the left of me, uh, so I will make some more videos, but people please subscribe so we can make some more videos. I just got some uh, emails about some questions about tractors, so um, yeah, I will explain that. For example, many people ask why didn't you make any movie of, yeah, an, uh, YouTube video about the Dino model, so I will do that today. And um, yeah, I will show you around and I will tell you some things. I have an Izeki T2100 with a fuel pump problem, a very known problem. I'll explain it in the next video. But first, I will tell something about the Hinomoto and uh, yeah, we will do a walk around. I will tell something about the tractor. So it's an Hinomoto N189. It's a three cylinder uh, Toyosha engine. So Toyosha, so it's not Toyota, but Toyosha. And it's a CD100 engine with, uh, I think, around 20 brake horsepower. Um, so it's direct injection. So uh, that means that it's starting very easy. You can also recognize it by the sound. It runs like very smooth. Um, it's, an, of course, a four-wheel drive tractor. And it has a servo uh, steering. So it means it's uh, a very light uh, steering. And it has the, the back and the forward uh, uh, movement. Like uh, if you put it in a forward, it goes forward and back the same. Um, I think that's very easy with working with a front loader or with a, um, a mower or something else. So over here, there are the groups. It's like one, two, three. One is for very slow, two is for middle, and three is for uh, driving faster, like uh, 14 or 15 uh, kilometers per hour. Uh, this one is for the PDO. It's always the same, 540, um, that's like 650, 750, and 1000 RPM. Uh, way too quick for uh, a mower, but for example, if you uh, will use the mower, you can use the, the, the second gear. The, the last uh, guy just uh, dismantled it, but normally you can um, put it in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive at this button, but at the moment it's only four-wheel drive. They uh, just uh, deleted the system because it was uh, malfunctioning. And also very important, the, if fuses on in here i can i think i can just remove it yeah like that the fuses are there so this is the dashboard always when the tractor is running all these four green lights are burning um of lining up if someone wants to know what these uh, lights are meaning i can search it for someone uh, or i can explain it in a user manual that we have um, yeah, of course this is how warm the truck is getting it always needs to be like in half, like 90 degrees, uh, 80 degrees, that's the best temperature. And of course the tank, um, this is for glowing and if the, the tank is uh, almost empty. So a fun fact about this tractor, and they copied it from Kubota or uh, otherwise around. This is uh, the gear like this, like um, if you put it up and back, it is going in one, two, three, four. And of course, this is the light switch. The fun effect about this tractor is it has lights in the front and in the back. And normally these tractors only have lights in the front and a reflector in the, in the back. So now I will remove the side panel like this. Important to mention about this engine, uh, of course, this is the battery um, generator. Like many people think, uh, here motor you can't get any parts for them because it's hard to find, but we have all the parts, like piston rings, we can find uh, pistons. We also have, of course, a generator. It's the same, I think, like Jengmar. Um, I need to look that one up. Uh, we have the oil filter, etc. And if you have any problems with the radiator, of course, you can go to a radiator shop, you can uh, get them repaired, or you can ask us. Uh, sometimes it's more cheap to find your own radiator shop, and otherwise you can uh, buy a radiator from us. Um, of course, here's the air filter. We will replace that one. And um, yeah, important, diesel, uh, the oil, the diesel uh, oil is like in here. And of course, this side is the same story. How you need to remove it, like this. So 
this is the expansion fat. It's like if it, the, the truck is getting really hot, the water will blow in this uh, uh, reservoir. Uh, for now, there's nothing in it, so it's it's the best uh, situation. Um, yeah, like I uh, told before with other tractors, this is the uh, the fuel pump. If you're having any problem with this, uh, a, a small pump over here, like this is the pump. If you've got uh, you have any air in the fuel system, so like you need to bleed uh, the system. If this one's go uh, bad, it's the same like the Izeki TL. Uh, so we also have that in stock. So uh, that's what I'm explaining. Like piston rings, we have everything uh, for these tractors to, to repair. In, in common, these tractors are a little bit more cheap in comparing with Izeki, but still the quality is the same or perhaps a little bit better. I can't say that because I'm really fan of uh, Izeki, but still these tractors are really good. I really like them. And one of the last details is like here is the old dipstick and also you can fill the oil like here and here's an hydraulic filter many people always forget to change them people they are not so expensive but very important to change they are like 20 or 25 euros but it is so important otherwise all these small sand and metal pieces are getting into your hydraulic system and uh, things block and so people think like, okay, my uh, hydraulic pump is uh, broken, but most of the time it's not the problem. It was the hydraulic filter that was uh, clucked up. All these stuff getting into the hydraulic system and your complete tractor will um, be blocked or the, um, the PDO or the drip point have will not work again. Now we are on the other side of the tractor. This one is for hand gas, so important to know. Um, like here is foot gas. Of course, here's the, um, the chassis number, etc. so it says 19 PS, it's like uh, on the PTO, uh, the, um, most of the time the engine brake horsepower is a little bit higher, like 2 PS higher. Um, it has 90 PS on 2100 RPM and of course it's the CD100 engine, so Toyosha CD100 engine. Um, yeah, I explained everything. This is of course the brake, you can split them like here, like so you can use the, the right brake and the left brake. This is for the differential, so you can lock the, the differential. This one is to how uh, fast you want to lower your uh, back hydraulics. hydraulics. At the moment they um, just disconnect the system, I don't know why, but you can only use this button. So if I put it on uh, position one and I will put this one down, you can see it's, it's moving. So there's this one for, and they added an light i don't know if it is working perhaps i need to use the normal lights now it's working and you can also see this structure has in the back uh, normal lights so um, i think it's better than the most of these structures because normally they only have reflectors on the back of the tractor and of course uh, turning indicators and they are of course working As you can see, uh, there is a um, an spit machine behind this tractor. Uh, I don't know how it, it's calling in English, but this spit machine just uh, rotates the, um, the grounds like a plow. So it's it's definitely comparing because this one is making the the sand a little bit more smoother. Uh, there are some people that are fan from uh, a fan from an, um, uh, a plow, or they just choose these machines, but. These are very expensive, of course, a plow you can buy for like two, three hundred euros. These machines are like three, three four thousand euros uh, uh, at new. Uh, this one is, of course, not new, but that's important to know. They use this one for just like um, in small uh, gardens to just um, rotate the ground. But still, um, I think it's a good combination for the structure. And of course, this one goes easy forwards and backwards with these uh, one hand motion, so yeah, I think it's the best solution for the structure to have this machine behind it. 
Um, they change these uh, arms. Uh, they are over like over there. The original ones are there. These are a little bit lower, so you can work with this um, uh, this machine like more precise. I will now start the tractor and show you how this machine works. So this machine rotates like this. And it works its way through the ground. you need parts please email us uh, from shop for track we can always help you um, we have all the parts for these tractors if we can't find it we will search a little bit further with other suppliers uh, like piston rings like all these parts we can get them and yeah, Hinomoto please don't underrate them it just uh, like they are so much cheaper than Kubota but I really love these tractors um, I'm just not making any advertisement for Hinomoto but yeah, like this is such in a good condition because it's polyester, they thought about everything. So it's a strong tractor, good condition. And yeah, I think if you, you want to make some fun uh, with uh, uh, better prices, you can buy an Inomoto. So yeah, it's a good tractor. Overall, uh, we will see you next week. Uh, please subscribe our channel. And um, yeah, I will upload a video about the Ziggy TU 2100 with the fuel pump problem. It's like there, that's why I'm looking at it. So thank you for watching. and. Uh, See you next time.